What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? Eddie Groove is back with another YouTube video here on Retro Groove TV. <clears throat> and hope everybody's keeping it Groove today, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we're gonna go over the Sega Dreamcast. Now, I know I missed the 9999 date of, you know, like the anniversary date, but I wanna make my own video on it while we still in the month of September. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're gonna start off with the controllers, y'all. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this one for last because it's like the most current controller is the best controller to get for the system. So as y'all know, you know what I'm saying if y'all Sega Dreamcast fanatics or you know just fans in general, these how the controllers look. Pretty much, you know, I know I hey I'll debate this all day, but I really do feel like the Xbox completely just stole the Dreamcast look and kept it for their own. And it's kind of weird because the original xbox pretty much has a lot of sega dreamcast isk you know things going on you know what i'm saying like shinmu 2 um you know what i'm saying honestly honestly if they was able to get sonic adventure 1 and 2 on the original xbox exclusively that would have hit different it, it is kind of weird that those games are only for the gamecube but that would have hit so different if those games was ported over to the original xbox so i'm just gonna throw these right here Man, we got a lot of controllers, y'all. We got a lot of accessories, so I'm gonna show y'all all this shit. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same. It's like the most clean controller I got. Pretty much all the same. I got too many damn controllers, so we already at four. Like, bro, man, on the fifth floor. <laughs> nah, but nah, yeah. So, wanna go over the limited edition. This might not even be a limited edition. It's like a collector's edition. Um, they got the Sega Sports Dreamcast, which is like the, my favorite all black colorway for the system. I pretty much game on this all the fucking time. This is like, yeah, man. If y'all didn't grow up with a Dreamcast, please get one while they're still cheap and while the games are still affordable. Because at this point, it's getting to the point where it's like, do you need a Dreamcast? With Capcom coming out with that Mar Marvel versus Capcom collection and that I think the capcom fighter collection part two that two that the part two of that game has plasma sword power stone one and two uh capcom versus snk one and two i was asking for all of these things so it's really no reason for me to really hook the dreamcast back up so it might just go in, in another room for me just to play the game and shit because i'm probably not going to be collecting for the system no more to be honest with you i think i'm about done <laughs> collecting for it and we also have the original all white model for USB, uh, for, not USB ports, but for controller ports. You know what I'm saying? System came out in 1999, and I believe if, I think in Japan it came out in 1998 in Japan, but in the US, 99. So. And we also have the Dreamcast fights, uh, Fight Arcade Stick. Honestly, this is my only first ever fight, you know, fight arcade stick. And uh, yeah, man, I can't wait to, I wish it was a way to like convert this on the PS4 so I can just use this for the, <laughs> for the games. But now I got to get a new fight stick so I can play these fighting games. And the last controller I wanted to show y'all was this beast right here. Now this controller, I don't feel like, uh, I guess I got to wrap it up anyway but hey so like this controller right here is a updated dreamcast controller from the company called retro fighters um yeah like this controller is the most comfortable to play the dreamcast on it feels just like an xbox controller and it doesn't take away nothing and i think the cord is the cord is way longer and it's way more sturdy and doesn't get in the way all the time so if you guys are collecting for the dreamcast i highly recommend this controller because like you can yeah, you can use this for fighting games, anything. Like this, this, this is my main controller for the system. All day, all day. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this controller up here. Go ahead and continue with the videos. Now we got the consoles out the way. And uh, before we get into the games, I do wanna go over a little bit of history of how I got into the Dreamcast. So. For years, I, I want to talk about since since I was a young kid playing like PlayStation One. Like I remember my cousin came over and, um, on one of my birthdays, and he actually uh, gifted me Resident Evil Cold Veronica. I still remember this shit to this day, and I got rid of this. I, I actually threw the CD away because I didn't know what the Dreamcast was. 
I'm actually mad as fuck that I got rid of that game because like I, I just didn't have a Dreamcast. Like I should have just asked more questions. Like what the fuck is a Dreamcast? I put the game in the PS2. It's like this game is for a Sega Dreamcast. I'm like, the fuck is a Sega Dreamcast? So that was like my first introduction to a Dreamcast of me getting my first game as Code Veronica and never, yeah, I should have kept it. Damn, I should have kept that game. Um, but yeah, yeah, years later, I wanna say around the time when I was in high school, uh, I met one of my friends that actually owned the Dreamcast, but he never used it. And I had like an extra PlayStation 2 Slim that was gifted to me from one of my other friends that wasn't using it. I'm like, bro, I mean, I got an extra PS2. Like, you want the PS2 Slim? It still works just fine. Like, I ain't using it. Like, I, I really wanted that Dreamcast. So we made a trade. And ever since then, the Dreamcast has been literally my favorite, one of my favorite consoles. One, like, one of my favorite consoles. And probably my third best collection of games like it, definitely my ps3 is probably the largest collection i have the ps2 is probably a close second but the dreamcast is like it's, it's it's definitely top three so let's get into it nba 2k2 and y'all can look up the reviews for these games. i ain't gonna go into each detail of them you got wacky racers y'all remember the cartoon show this cartoon show was legendary as fuck Got Dead or Alive 2, Virtual Fighter 3 Team Battle, WWF Attitude. Yeah, we just gonna run through these games. I ain't gonna really go over all of them. NFL 2K1, Test Drive Los Menes, 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 whatever. 20, whatever this shit is. Le Mans. <laughs> Rayman 2. Sega Tennis 2K2, Sega NHL 2K2, a lot of, bro, 2K was going crazy in the back of the day, like, all of these, all of these 2K games are just fucking crazy, like, and they're actually really fun to play, like, these games are actually really fun to play, NH, N, uh, the, 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 NHL 2K, the first one, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Adventure, Got this cool, cool RPG that I never finished. I need to finish, honestly. It's called Silver. One day I gotta go back and revisit this game. This, this was actually pretty fun. Fantasy Star Online, which I was able to play online, but I don't have that Dream Pie shit, so it's wraps. And I'm gonna talk about this CD later, because this, this right here, this is all you need. You don't need to mod your system or nothing. You got a Dreamcast and you're trying to collect for Japanese, European, and US games, you need this CD. This CD right here, it basically unlocks your system. It makes, yeah, it just makes everything dope as fuck. You can play whatever. Whatever from any country you in. All right. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. We got Ultimate Fighting Championship. Virtual the, the Virtual Strikers 2, which is a weird soccer a soccer game. I can't talk. <laughs> a weird soccer game. Pretty cool. It's not too bad. I wish uh it's something about this game that I hate. It's something with the controls that I can't remember that I kind of hated about it. NBA 2K1. Virtual Tennis 2K1. Yeah, I guess it's Virtual Tennis 1. I got the greatest Arcade Hits Volume 2 that has Gauntlet, Rampage, Paperboy, Spy Hunter, and uh, some other, some more shit. Tokyo Extreme Racer. I wish I had the second game, but the first one is actually pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Sega Smash Pack Volume 1. Let me know if y'all, if, if there's a Volume 2 to this. It's kind of cool that they have this on here. Got the original Soul Calibur. Got Grand Theft Auto 2. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You already know the motherfucking classic. <laughs> I got a sealed copy of Power Stone 2, the Japanese version. And the reason why I have this copy still sealed is because I have the European version, which is all English text. And I prefer that, so. Guilty Gear X, the Japanese version. 
And like getting into all these Japanese games, as long as you have this CD and you go on YouTube and figure out how to use it, you can play any of these games, any of them. Capcom versus SNK2. And that's what, that's like the finesse too. If you can play the Japanese version of these same games on your console, they're way cheaper, way cheaper and way more affordable to collect for and buy. So just keep that in mind. But y'all probably already know this if you're a Dreamcast fans. Uh, you got a golf game, Tee Off. <clears throat> got Street Fighter Alpha 3. The OG OG of like, I guess, role, well, not role playing games. Uh, what would you call this? Just an adventure? You know, one of those games you walk around a huge city like Grand Theft Auto. I think this came first. I could be wrong. But Shinmu definitely, I think, sparked some development of technology to, to help other games get to that level too. Power Stone uh, 1 and I got Power Stone 2. If you have a Dreamcast, you need these games. The, you're going to lose plenty of hours and sleep playing these. And last but not least, we have Shinmu 2, the European version. And yeah, that concludes my entire Dreamcast collection. If you guys like this type of content, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, man, celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Sega Dreamcast. And we should be back with some more streams. We'll be back with some more shit. We out.